Hi, welcome to myprojectbazaar.com. Now going to see different trees for mining data streams based on the MedDiarmids bound. Our basic domain is uh, data mining. Generally, data mining is the process of analyzing data from different perspectives and summarizing it to useful information to information that can be used to increase revenue, cut cost, or both. Our main concept is the decision tree. Decision tree is the decision support tool that uses a tree like graph or model of decisions and their possible consequences, including chance event outcomes, resource cost, and utility. It is one way to display an algorithm. Traditional techniques for data mining require multiple scans of data to extract the information, which is not feasible for stream data. It is not possible to store an entire data stream or to scan through it multiple times due to its tremendous volume. The large amount of events in data streams which had previously happened is usually extremely large. Moreover, the character of the data stream can vary over time and the evolving patterns needs to be captured. To address this problem, as we indicated several methods including hoarding the algorithm. And next, the start abstract in our main project. The whole of doing inequality is not appropriate to solve the underlying problem. The whole of doing inequality is not an adequate tool to solve the underlying problem. Consequently, all methods and algorithms developed in the literature for mining data streams, if they use the whole of doing bound, should be revised. The met diamonds inequality used to do properly is an effective tool for solving the problem. The well-known result whole of doing bound for arbitrary heuristic measure cannot be obtained either from the whole being inequality or from the McDiarmid's inequality. To prove two theorems presenting the McDiarmid's bound for both the information gain used in ID3 algorithm and for Gini index used in classification and regression trace algorithm. Now watching data flow diagram for McDiarmid's tree algorithm. As you have start the process, then load in your data set. After you have to load the data set, remove the data. Remove the data means uh, nice removal and data uh, unwanted data has been deleted. Then we have to find out the McDermott's in inequality values. Then we are going to find McDermott's bounded values. If bounded va values is greater than inequality means information gain, going to the information gain, find out the information gain. Else find out the Gini index. These two indices, uh, two values are uh, combined into both matrix for McDiamond tree construction. Then show that tree. Stop the process. Now let us start project demo for decision tree for mining data streams based on McDiamond's bound. First you have choose another data set. I have choose demographics.dxt. This is our data set. I have to load data set in our database. Upload data takes several a uh, few minutes. Data set loaded successfully. Then view data. This database stored data set. Then we have to go into pre process for removal data. Data set pre process, then view that data. Then we're going to transformation. First, you have to choose partition, partition each label, class labels. Then classify based upon our labels household, person ID based on, then age based, class based worker based then we are going to find out information gain first we have to choose information gain number of total number of observation data set 414 total number of class 2 distance classes 1 and 2 count of class 1 is 298 count of class 2 is 206 probability of class 1 is 0 0.502 pi log 2 of pi class is minus 0 0.498 probability of of class 2 is 0.497 same as probability of log 2 of p a class 2 is minus 0. total info of t is, is equal to 0 0.3983 
then found bound for information gain the information is based upon every class labels first you have to choose household id info household id of id is 0 information gain of household id is 0 0.09983 same as all class labels then going to find out Gini index first you have to get Gini index Gini values sum of classes 0 0.502 Gini index of values 0 0.499 find Gini index sum of Gini is 7.96 Gini index of G minus 7.496 then how to find bound for Gini index this is bounded for Gini index bounded for in each columns labels each column labels then we have to find out Gini ratio first you have to split information then you have a ratio in each labels first you have to have split info of gain 0 0.999 split info 35991.1036 then gain ratio then you are going to search Gini ratio first you have to decision maker the, this is decision maker of every class labels household id, person id, age, class, worker household income, household size and household home location id then split and pruning actions Splitting and pruning for in each columns. Then we have to tree for decision tree. S we have to choose every each column labels. First we have to choose person ID view tree. This is based upon person ID tree. Then we have to choose worker base. Then we have to choose household ID not because of 0 0.0 our initial values then we have to choose household income to household size this value is also 0 0.0 this is demographic support line thank you for watching this video